made up bus number to base. Go ahead, made up bus number. Yeah, I'm gonna be calling an ambulance. I had a kid who tried to eat glass. What the f- That was a real sentence I overheard on my two-way radio, and I wish I was messing with you. The life of a school bus driver is one of early mornings into the freezing cold to make sure your bus starts and dealing with terrible traffic that has no regard of the precious cargo that you carry that have given you more close calls than you can count for in slippery roads, blizzards, 90 kilometer winds, and has been one of the best jobs I've ever had. Who knew that trying to prioritize my relationships over my job would have been the best decision I ever made? Yeah, the whole reason I took up school bus driving in the first place was because I didn't want to work full time, but it was still necessary for me to work and I didn't want a part-time job that would only do evenings and weekends because that felt pointless and I wanted to spend time with my husband who we were just newlyweds and this was the best bet I had, guaranteed evenings and weekends off unless you did charters, but I'm not about that life. Guaranteed holidays off and even a whole summer off? where you don't get paid and possibly not even get accepted by employment insurance. Honestly, I think the summers off is one of the best things for me because it rejuvenates my love for my job and it makes me look forward to working because I begin to feel drained near the end of the spring. And at the end of the semester and into the summer, correction, what would have been the end of the semester and the beginning of the summer if it weren't for the Nihnanbibuch virus because I've been technically out of a job since the middle of March. Back to the video. I will have been driving the school bus for five years, minus my maternity leave. So why not share some bus stories with you? I'm going to not mention the names of any of the schools, students, or companies I worked and currently worked with, just for safety reasons. Lots of times I would just hear stuff on the two-way radios that would either make me shake my head or fear for my life, like that one kid eating glass. Like, I mean, I don't blame the driver for not noticing it. Like, who knows if the kid had the glass hidden in their backpack or the driver just didn't see because they were probably in a big bus. But why would the kid try to eat glass? Perhaps the kid decided to, like, bite it and the bus hit a bump, causing the glass to, like, slice into the kid? Who knows? Another thing I once heard was, Made up bus number to base, uh, smoke is coming into the bus, I'm doing an evacuation. And then his bus was on fire. Thankfully, he only had four kids left, and they all got off safely. He was named employee of the year because of that. But let's not get into the scary stuff I've heard or experienced, let's talk about my more weird experiences. I almost got my contact lens knocked out of my eye by a kid. Yeah. You see, my first school was a school that specialized in moderate to severe special needs. And this kid came from a group home. He was nonverbal, he was in a wheelchair, and he was unable to communicate. And for a period of time, he got violent, which I think may have been due to his teeth, but I'm not sure. I was trying to secure his wheelchair to the floor with these specialized locks, and as I was getting up from locking his chair, his mitted hand, because it was winter, swiped across my face, and my vision suddenly went blurry in one eye. I took about 20 seconds of furious blinking before my contact lens came back, but I was so scared he knocked it out because um, I would be considered legally blind if I didn't have my prescription lenses and I wouldn't have been able to drive. So thankfully the group home, the school, and I teamed up, so therefore they would hold him down while I would unlock his wheelchair. Now, this didn't happen to my bus. It happened to a bus that was behind me when we were loading kids in the afternoon. So one of my coworkers had a kid with autism spectrum disorder who was more severely affected. He was having a meltdown when he was put on the bus. And while we were loading our wheelchairs, we just heard this thumping. And we know he was notorious for slamming his head on the window. And then suddenly, he smashed his head through the window. That poor driver was not able to leave the school until a backup bus was brought in because she could not travel in that bus until the window was repaired. And I don't think he was allowed to come on the bus anymore. 
I saw a bus doing 180 on an icy road. Deja vu, I just been in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Sometimes there are situations where you just can't help but laugh. I had this lady, because in the special needs school, you go there until you're 22. She was on my bus for a year. She was nonverbal, but she was able to understand you and was able to communicate a little bit. She hated being outside when it wasn't the perfect day. And the perfect day was no wind, sunshine, not too hot, not too cold. When it was windy, ah! snowing, ah! cold, ah! raining, ah! you name it, she would scream. I went to pick her up on a rainy morning and her mother brought her out while she held an umbrella. She was screaming. Ah! I get her wheelchair secure to the floor and I begin driving. However, a minute later, I realized I forgot to put down her umbrella and she was still holding it and she was screaming because she wasn't sure what to do. I look at her through my mirror and I say to her, you can put that umbrella down if you want. <laughs> Freaking Mike dropped this umbrella and I could not help but burst out laughing. And then I look in the mirror and she's laughing, which makes me laugh even more. And the cycle just kept repeating and I had to pull my bus over because I was laughing so hard and tearing up. But it was a lovely experience and I will always remember her. Let's take a short segment and talk about my lovely Catholic school route for a bilingual Ukrainian school. Some of those kids currently watch these videos, so hi! On one of my first days driving the Catholic kids, I would talk to my first pickup, who was an eight-year-old girl. And so I'd talk about things like, do you have any pets? Oh yeah, I have a cat. Oh nice, I have a snake and a gecko, stuff like that. And the next day I pick her up and I say, good morning, Leslie, how are you today? I'm good. Did your pets die? Uh, no. Oh, that's good. Okay. This was also something I was hearing. So the older kids in the back of the bus were talking to each other and I hear, Hey, let's play rock, paper, scissors to the cars behind us. It's a woman! I'm gonna play rock, paper, scissors with her. Hey, Dimitri, that looks like your mom. That is my mom! I also heard, Oh, my juice box! He wasn't supposed to be drinking on the bus. Uh, hey, Alyssa, do you have a tissue? Uh, sorry, Victor, I don't. And then I heard one of the older girl say, She has a tissue issue. I also heard a boy say, My mom is a hundred years old. Maybe I should just leave it off at that if I want to do a second part. And... Oh boy, that will happen. I shall continue to have stories because, I mean, I love my job. And I could see myself retiring as a school bus driver. With lots of crazy memories to go with.